The Six Greatest Muscle Building Myths, Part 1. When we start going to the gym, we find ourselves in a new, unknown world where everybody seems to have their own theory about how muscle building works. Even friends and family members will offer their advice, despite never having attempted a diet and exercise routine in their lives. Frequently, following their guidelines confuses us and leads us off the track towards achieving the body we want as fast and effectively as possible. Don't get me wrong, I'm aware most people only want to help, but even though their intentions may be good, the information they transmit is not and can take you directly to failure. In this video, I will show you the six greatest myths from the many out there that can be responsible for confusing you, make you lose your way, prevent you from obtaining that body you crave for in the shortest time possible, and turn you into one of those guys who train and train but never see results. Myth number one, the more I train, the more it'll show. Desperation for gaining muscle as fast as possible can easily force people to make this big mistake. However, truth is that during a workout session, a lot of muscle tissue gets damaged and it takes some time for it to recover and even longer to make muscle grow. Training the same muscle every day doesn't allow the body to repair it completely, let alone make it bigger. This will lead to no muscle gain or even losing the muscle you already had. Believe it or not, I have better results broadening and strengthening my legs when I train them only once a week. Myth number two, workouts are effective only if it hurts the day after. Following this rule will sooner or later lead you to overtraining. It's common to feel sore the day after working out when you first start to exercise. But once you've hit the gym for over a month, Feeling pain for more than two days is a clear sign of overtraining. However, when muscles are growing at their best rate, the pain is very light, or you might not even feel any. Myth number three, supplements are key. If I include them in my routine, I can forget about following a meal plan. Whether because of lack of knowledge or the dirty marketing campaigns supplement companies often do, many people think these products have some kind of supreme power to make muscle mass grow quickly. We can even be deceived to believe it's not possible to build muscle without them. Some supplements do help and make our lives easier, like whey protein and creatine among others, which in addition come from natural sources. But the difference they make is only 10 to 30% in the best of cases. Don't think for a second that buying any of these supplements and keeping your diet as it is will make the difference between not putting on a single gram of muscle mass and gaining four to five pounds a week. If you find a supplement claiming it can do that, it's a lie. Whey is very good because it makes it easier for us to build muscle with just one, 1 1.5, or even three ounces of protein and just a small shake. To eat as much protein with a meal, such as with eggs and meat, requires much more quantity of food. Creatine has helped me increase my strength and reduce muscle recovery time after working out, but it didn't make it twice as fast only in a small percentage. Myth number four, some exercises are designed to... Click here to watch the second part.